bricks i am shitting bricks i am shitting bricks about turning 30 okay hello stranger it's been a minute since we last kissed by the way just got in town and i won't have cumulus clouds all in the sky okay i'm back let us talk about this okay um our drinking buddy today is gonna be a drink by the duchess it's an alcohol free wine spritzer and lately i'm just not in the mood for alcohol so i'm not having it yeah because i don't do peer pressure anymore i'm over that but i'm 30 now <laughs> <laughs> or at least i'm turning 30 but yes guys welcome back to my channel my name is nombi and this is the shop with nombi and i'm just trying to show up for the best version of me i'm just trying to be the woman of my dreams and hopefully i inspire you to do the same but today's topic it's just a conversation because jeez louise i'm shitting bricks i am shitting bricks about turning 30 okay it is bothering me first of all i feel like it's happening against my will i don't feel 30 i don't want to be 30 so i don't identify as a 30 year old but unfortunately the reality of the matter is that i am indeed th turning 30 but it feels like such a big number guys like yo like that is like what three decades like that's three 10 year olds sitting there that's like six five year olds looking at you in the face you know <laughs> so honestly i'm shooting bricks about this and it's kind of scary and the two biggest things that's making it super scary for me is the standards that i've had for myself and also i feel like the standards that we hold each other to for being a 30 year old currently right first of all when i remember the 30 year olds back in my day they had it all the way together okay and i feel like we are struggling okay like <laughs> we are just 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 hanging on to it so these standards that we had for each other are not applying anymore but we are not changing the standards okay everyone still expects you to have a husband and a wife and a car and two children a perfect life you must be a manager at work or you must be a successful entrepreneur whatever that is and i just feel like we're not there yet you know we are going through different things like houses are like one million now for a three bedroom and back then our parents could get them for like what three hundred and fifty thousand or something but what like you see there's so many things the economy is insane and i guess it was insane then but now it's like buck wild okay so life has changed so much but we've still kept the same standards you know and i feel like our standards have also gotten much higher this soft life type of look millionaire by 18 type of news we're getting you know it's putting also a lot more pressure on us like social media has allowed us to connect with lifestyles that we didn't know we existed when you were just a kid in the hood and you were limited to what you saw on sabc one two and three you know but now like it has allowed you to see all of these soft life situations and influencers out there going to dubai you know ashin daughter dubai after that you know all of these things you know and they have put a lot of pressure on us and as a someone going into their 30s you feel like hot oh, damn i should be further than where i am and people look at you and expect like you should be further than where you are i'm driving a 2016 i20 and to some people that is amazing i have friends who don't even have cars does that mean that they have failed the requirements of becoming 30 yo that is a lot okay and honestly like can i just ask one thing from each other guys like fellow 1992s okay let us usher in a new vibe and a new feeling of being 30 first of all let us just commit to applying no pressure to each other okay can we just like drink water and mind your business this year please and the rest of the years into your 30s okay stop having opinions about whether someone else should have bought a house before they bought a car should have had a husband before they had a child should have got a job before they bought whatever like can we just 
allow ourselves to be who we are and be okay with the fact that everyone is trying their best at least most of us are like stop applying additional pressure in a world that is already so messed up like everything is crazy these days you don't need additional unnecessary pressure from each other so please can we allow ourselves to breathe and let us be th- let, let us be the ones who say you know what no pressure to absolutely nobody this year as on belief yo and then the other thing that's uh, stressing me out right is my own perceptions of where i should be at this age like i also feel like i haven't done enough i have not done enough i feel like i shouldn't be where i am and also another thing is like i've gained weight over the past three years i gained 10 kilograms like jesus <laughs> hey you know what ne? the devil is working over time guys let me just tell you the devil is working over time but like i also feel like i'm not where i should be um and I, I i need to make peace with that and honestly for me i think the best thing that i need to do going into this age is to just accept that right and this is the other part about being 30 that's making me so excited right yes i'm hovering in between these feelings of fear and then there are these feelings of excitement and this feeling of excitement is just coming from this thing i feel grown okay i feel grown and because i feel grown i am getting to a place of being settled with myself and feeling okay with myself i'm all right with me right and honestly how i got to that was looking at my life and being able to accept where i am right now like radical self-acceptance and this is not the type of self-acceptance that means that you don't work towards improving but this is first of all reflecting looking at your past and the mistakes that you have made and forgiving yourself for those mistakes that you have made making peace with them and being able to say you know what girl i'm i'm sorry firstly and then secondly i forgive you as well and having that internal conversation with me right is making me feel like i'm getting into this grown woman stage type of vibe about myself and that's the thing that's making me so excited okay like i am getting to the space where i want to create the woman of my dreams i want to be the woman of my dreams because i'm also realizing no one is coming to do that for me like anybody gonna come this is not a cinderella story there is no prince and the princes that come are also having their own life struggles so they're not here to make you look cute into a cinderella that is up to me to actually make those changes and i'm allowing myself to settle into myself and settle into who i am you know i understand with that lady what is her name i forgot her name but i think on that movie she's Catalea on the movie colombiana i understand now what she means when she says i love who i am i love how i learn i love how i make mistakes i just love how i do things and this is the part that is giving me comfort that it might be buck wild and crazy out there but as long as i'm all right with me you know and a healthy all right with me not a delusional ignorance type of all right with me but a healthy one i'm able to step into this age and step into my 30s with a lot more confidence in myself and the fact that i can actually pursue the type of life i want to live honeys but yeah so i hope this makes sense let me know how you feel about turning 30 okay if you are 30 and if you've turned 30 how did you feel when it was happening were you a little bit shaken like i am because honestly guys i look young so i identify as a 24 year old so (laughs) yeah i still have a lot a lot of time but yeah guys thank you so much for showing up that is literally all i wanted to talk about today i hope this inspires you to get into a your own vibe and settle into yourself no matter what age you are in thank you so much for showing up with me please don't forget to like subscribe but more specifically share with anyone turning 30 
this year and just get to understand how are they dealing with the situation can they advise on what type of heartburn pill i can take for all of this heartburn but that is it guys thank you so much i will see you next week okay bye I got the plug, I made the call for me